Hello world, <laughs> it's fucking 6 a.m. in the morning. Today is chess day, kickboxing, and Muay Thai day, all in one. Um, scheduled to get my nice kickboxing shorts, the professional ones today, so that's gonna be an extra. But anyways, the goal for today is to stay up because I stayed up all night. So if I could stay up till 6 p.m., um, then we will have completed the day and successfully, and I fixed my sleep schedule. Um, do you guys have any tips on like uh, how to fucking stop watching short form content? Because I know it's bad for me, but like I also learn some cool shit on there sometimes, and it's also motivating as fuck to like go to the gym and shit. So just give me some tips on how you think quitting uh fucking uh, social media binging is uh, is done. But anyways, what was I gonna say? Oh yeah, so today's chess day, jujitsu, and Muay Thai day. Um, gotta stay up till six p.m. And right now it's 6 a.m. We're going to go hit the gym at 8 a.m. Um, and then, yeah, we'll probably hit a kickboxing workout afterwards. Um, I'm not going to eat till, like, the end of the day, 6 p.m. Because apparently eating makes you lazy and lethargic. If you think about it, uh, like Andrew Tate said, um, eating makes you lazy and lethargic because it's it was your task. As when, you were, when you were a caveman, it was your task to get the food for the family once that food is is served you're you could chill right you're you're you could sleep you could chill right so exactly that is what's happening in our brains when we eat food right i don't know technically sukshin who cares i'm gonna eat a big ass meal i'm gonna get a mango i'm gonna get fucking steak or fucking ground beef with some chocolate milk and some good shit so that i feel amazing that i stayed up and i just reward myself with a nice big healthy meal I'm also eating like a lot of meat because it keeps you lean and uh, carnivore diet, I guess, keeps you lean. So that's what they say. And that's what I'm going uh, uh, I'm to uh, do some research and think about. So I might go carnivore diet. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but yeah, anyway, let's just hit the gym. I'm going to stop talking now. Right, it is 7 a.m. right now. Don't question the fit. It is what it is. We're starting the workout off and this is how it's going to go. 10 to 20 minutes of shadow boxing. 45 minutes of hitting the bag, a.k.a. striking. Um, and clinch and takedowns for 30 minutes, grappling. So it's going to be an hour and a half workout um, mixed with footwork, striking, and grappling all in one. It's going to be great. Let's go.
finished striking part of the entire workout. Now we're gonna do the grappling part. Now what that will consist of looks a little something like this. So it's a mix of clinching and grappling. Together you get a great foundation to the MMA style, not just Mai Tai, you get both of them and it's amazing, let's go. On the flip side, my floor is not mats, it's uh, wood. So it's pretty fucking painful to do takedowns on it. Um, so what I think I should do is maybe head to the park, no. Nope. Um, I'll just focus on clinches and then find a way to get good uh, grapple training in. I probably just need to do it in a real jujitsu class it's not something you could do with just a punching bag. Although simple, um, you know, underhooks, or not underhooks, whatever those things are called, but you grab the leg. Um, those you could train on here. You can just grab the bag, right? Um, but it's not, you can't do takedowns and stuff on a hard floor. It's a very, uh, very not good experience. So let's just focus on the clinching side of things. Focus on being comfortable in the clinch, being comfortable with your heads clashing with each other. And, uh, all the sweat and shit. Uh, I'm comfortable with giving knees from a close, um, from close up, elbows too, and just get better at that movement of things. about done with this workout next up we're gonna cold shower head to the gym and i got school today so uh i might vlog a little bit about what i eat in school like uh, i'll cook up some eggs and shit and show you guys what i'm eating on and uh yeah it's gonna be a good time let's go
All right, to finish off this workout, I'm gonna do weighted dips till failure, three sets. We should be good. So the day is finished. Today was a really, really great vlog. I did so much today. It's probably my most productive and like greatest day of my fucking life. I'll tell you right now. Um, I hit my kickboxing workout first thing in the morning. Um, I did a cold shower. Nice and fucking disciplined today. I felt so good. Filmed a couple shorts. Made a reaction video. Went to the gym, hit chest. Was the best chest day of my fucking life. I hit that super set, which absolutely kills my chest, and it feels amazing. Um, what else? Yeah. Today was just fucking crazy, bro. And I hope, I hope to be able to live every day similar to this one. So I could please God, and that he can feel that I've, you know, fulfilled my, my purpose, and worked hard, and reward me with, you know, what I want to achieve in life. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, like it, subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Mwah.